Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with two of the latest motherboards from ASUS with the latest chipset Z890. Capable of supporting the latest CPUs from Intel, the Intel Core Ultra Series 2. Basically, they will provide us, besides of more performance, more power in AI tasks that we can do with our desktops. We have seen quite a few laptops with NPUs and all sorts of AI features but right now coming to our desktop. So if you are looking for one of these motherboards for your next setup, let's go and take a closer look at them. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below now starting with the asus prime z 890m plus wi-fi which has this more compact design it is a micro atx form factor in terms of the cpu we have checked in terms of the cooling it looks and feels really awesome and at the back it has a io shield which is built in so we don't need to be fiddling around with our case and the io shield it will support four Deems DDR5, which will have a maximum capacity of 192 gigabytes of RAM DDR5. It has four slots PCIe, being one of which is the PCIe 5.0, and then three PCIe 4.0. This one has the safe slot guard right over here, metallic enclosure all around so that it protects when we use bigger graphics cards. In terms of cooling, we can see right over here one, two, three connections for fans, CPU or water cooling and also at the bottom another one two three so a total of six connections for cooling if we want to use rgb one two and another two right over here besides that we can see these sata connections here four right over here and then two here talking about storage we can also see a pcie 5.0 m.2 ssd right over here there's another one here m.2 ssd but this one is pcie 4.0 and if we take a look here at the back there's one more PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSD. So basically these are the connections that we have right over here. Of course, we also have some USB headers. These two right over here, five gigabits and then USB 2.0 right at the bottom. And basically this is it. Looking at the IO shield, we will find a HDMI output, display port output in case we want to use the integrated GPU of the CPU. It also has a USB type C 20 gigabit port, which supports 4K output resolution with a 120 hertz refresh one usb type a 10 gigabits the flashback uh, bios button two usb type a 2.0 for our peripherals a ethernet port with 2.5 gigs four usb type a 5 gigabits and then the audio connections and finally it also comes with a wi-fi antenna with the new connector q antenna which we don't need to screw we just need to push it in and there we go this is it and we will have the connection right over here really easy to plug and unplug and now taking a look at the asus prime z 890p wi-fi motherboard which is a bit larger than the previous model and targeted at bigger setups or setups with more space now it has a few differences and some really interesting in terms of the cpu same compatibility in terms of the cooling design and materials is the same and looks awesome it has one plus heat sink right over here we can start with this one that will take an m.2 ssd pcie 5.0 with this cooling heat sink now that we started talking Talking about storage it also supports another m.2 ssd right over here another one right over here and another one right over here so three m.2 ssds pcie 4.0 and one pcie 5 for the m.2 ssd it also supports four dims of ram ddr5 with a maximum capacity of 192 gigs looking at the side we have the cooling connectors one two three and here at the bottom we have another one and then another two right over here if we want to use rgb one two and then two 
right here on the top. Moving to SATA connections, we have two right over here and then another two here. PCIe, there are four of them, being that this one is PCIe 5.0 with the safe slot uh, with the metal enclosure right over here, as we have seen on the previous model. And then PCIe 4.0, 4.0 and 4.0. Several USB header connectors that we find here, here, here that we can use to connect to our case and basically this is what we will find in terms of the main connectivity looking at the back we can see that the io shield is a bit different but it has a hdmi and display port output it also has the bios flashback button and we can see here one major difference this is a usb type c4 thunderbolt 4 connection which is really fast with 40 gigabits of bandwidth there's also a usb type a with 10 gigabit bandwidth four usb 2.0 ports for our peripherals a ethernet port with 2.5 gigs and two usb type a five gigabits and also the audio connectivity right over here in terms of the antenna for the wi-fi there's also one antenna included that we can use the q antenna connection just press it and there we go we will have Wi-Fi 7 through the built-in antenna, which is awesome. And those are the first impressions and first hands on each of these motherboards with some really interesting details. And if you are thinking about getting one of them, links down below with more specifications and some of the details that I didn't mention on this video. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.